see around you. Hey. I want to see you try. Get it over with. What the hell? In the bustling city of Nanjing, China, resides a young prodigy named Mei. Gifted in mathematics, Mei possesses the remarkable ability to effortlessly tackle complex mathematical problems mentally. Her exceptional memory allows her to retain any series of numbers she encounters. One fateful day, as Mei strolls home with her friends, a menacing group of men seizes her, leading her to a Chinese mafia leader named Han. Han, aware of the traceability of his criminal empire's digital data, sees Mei as a valuable asset, a personal mental calculator who can memorize crucial information for him. Initially resistant, Mei succumbs to cooperation when faced with the dire threat of harm to her mother. Under the watchful eye of Chang, a trusted member of the gang, Mei is transported to New York, where she assumes the role of Chang's daughter to conceal her true identity. Meanwhile, in another part of New Jersey, Luke, a former cop and cage fighter, engages in a high-stakes match he is meant to lose. In an unexpected turn, he accidentally knocks out his opponent, sending him into a coma. This unexpected victory infuriates Emil, the head of the Russian Mafia, who suffered significant financial losses due to Luke's win. Luke, realizing the peril this places his family in, anticipates the wrath of an enraged gangster. The stage is set for a complex and suspenseful narrative involving May and Luke in their respective encounters with criminal forces. Rushing home with urgency, Luke is tragically late, finding that the gangster's son, Vasily, has already taken the life of his pregnant wife. Overwhelmed with grief, Luke, despite his fighting prowess, refrains from retaliation. The ruthless thugs issue a grim warning, threatening to kill anyone Luke interacts with or speaks to. Left with no options, Luke returns to his hometown, New York, adopting a life of homelessness, wandering the streets of Manhattan. A year later, May remains entangled with the gang, working alongside Chang. During their weekly rounds in Chinatown, May calculates the net profit or loss percentage for each store, a crucial metric used by the gang to determine the amount owed by store owners. May proves indispensable to the gang, showcasing her acumen in the intricate workings of the criminal underworld. Meanwhile, Luke resides in a disorganized homeless shelter. One night, he encounters a man with severely infected feet and no shoes. Moved by sympathy, Luke gives the man his own shoes. However, the next morning brings a grim revelation, someone has brutally attacked and killed the unfortunate man, stealing his shoes overnight. Luke's living conditions reflect the harsh realities of his homeless existence. The narrative unfolds, intertwining the struggles of Luke and May in their respective worlds. Amidst May's involvement with the gang under Chang's watchful eye, a woman closely associated with Chang delivers devastating news to May during the night, her mother has passed away in a Chinese hospital after a severe illness. The following day marks a significant event as Han, the gang's leader, arrives in New York for the first time since sending May on her assigned tasks. He presents May with a piece of paper bearing a series of crucial numbers, instructing her to memorize them. May accomplishes this feat in less than 10 seconds, highlighting the importance of the numbers. Han burns the paper to ashes, ensuring May is the sole bearer of this critical information. Chang then guides May to the next location, informing her that she will need to memorize a second series of numbers upon reaching their destination. The plan unfolds smoothly until they face an unexpected attack by the Russian Mafia, led by Emil, the same gangster responsible for Luke's wife's death. The Russians are after May due to the numbers she has memorized, leading to a fierce shootout where the Chinese gangsters are overpowered, and May is abducted. Meanwhile, in another part of the city, Luke experiences a challenging day as a passerby steals his breakfast money. Attempting to make a purchase, he unexpectedly crosses paths with a former colleague from his days in the police force, adding a layer of complexity to Luke's unfolding narrative. The intertwining threads of May and Luke's stories continue to unravel in the face of danger and intrigue. Recognizing Luke instantly, the man guides him to an abandoned building where his former colleagues, corrupt cops, await. In the past, Luke exposed their illicit dealings with local gangsters, earning their lasting resentment. Despite enduring physical abuse and insults, Luke refrains from retaliating. The ordeal peaks when a cop hands Luke a gun, urging him to end his own life. However, Luke steadfastly refuses, choosing to walk away from the torment. Simultaneously, May faces a grim situation as she is brought before the Russian gang leader, Emil, who demands information about the memorized numbers. To her shock, May discovers that the woman who informed her of her mother's death was colluding with Emil all along. Pressured to reveal the code, May strategically claims the woman's ignorance of underworld dynamics, predicting her imminent demise. The men promptly shoot the woman dead, deeming her useless. Fearing a similar fate, May remains silent about the numbers. 
Amidst the tension, a corrupt cop and Luke's former colleague, Captain Wolf, arrive at the Russian hideout. However, their motives are far from noble, as Captain Wolf acts on the orders of the Chinese gang leader, Han. Emil contacts the captain, enticing him with double the money offered by the Chinese gangsters to leave the hideout. The intricate web of alliances and betrayals unfolds, further complicating May and Luke's perilous predicaments. The corrupt captain succumbs to the allure of Emil's offer and withdraws from the scene. May seizes this opportunity to escape the hideout unnoticed, evading both the Russian and Chinese gangsters, each on a mission to find her before the other. As May makes her way to a subway station, a pivotal moment unfolds. Luke, on the brink of ending his own life, locks eyes with the frightened little girl just as he is about to leap onto the tracks. The presence of the gangsters who took his wife's life intensifies when they notice May. To evade them, she boards the subway, but they catch sight of her and give chase. Recognizing that something is amiss, Luke makes it his mission to rescue the girl. Clutching onto the subway, Luke confronts and defeats the pursuing Russians, surprising them with his sudden assertiveness. However, May, mistaking him for one of the assailants, runs away with the crowd when the subway stops. Undeterred, Luke sets out to find her. In a crucial turn of events, Luke overhears a red alert code broadcast to all the cops. Realizing that May is now wanted not only by the gangsters but also by corrupt policemen, he grasps the urgency of locating her before she falls into the hands of those seeking to exploit her further. The suspense builds as May and Luke's paths converge amidst the chaotic and dangerous landscape. In a pivotal moment, two cops who had previously assaulted Luke attempt to apprehend May. Luke, arriving at the perfect moment, swiftly incapacitates the officers, revealing that his earlier passivity was a deliberate choice. Despite this intervention, May remains wary of Luke, but with the arrival of the Russian mafia, she reluctantly gets into a car with him, triggering a high-speed chase through the bustling streets of Manhattan. In a dramatic turn, Luke eliminates all pursuing Russians, liberates their wallets, and takes May to an upscale hotel. As they check in, May's trust in Luke begins to develop. She discloses information about the memorized numbers, revealing that they form a safe combination. Luke deduces that there are two safes, potentially containing valuable items traded by the Chinese mafia. Meanwhile, the corrupt captain learns that May was taken forcefully by Luke, shocking him as Luke had distanced himself from criminal activities since leaving the police force. In the hotel, May starts to trust Luke further, divulging details about the numbers and the potential involvement of two safes. Their moment of respite is shattered when Chang tracks May's location using a device in her phone. He and his henchmen storm the hotel, initiating a chaotic shootout that sends terrified onlookers scrambling for safety. The narrative intensifies as May and Luke find themselves ensnared in a dangerous confrontation with Chang and the approaching henchmen. In the escalating chaos, Luke engages in a fierce fistfight with the gangsters, leading to a separation from May. Chang seizes the opportunity and captures her, while Luke manages to escape imminent danger. Determined not to abandon May, Luke is willing to go to great lengths to ensure her safety. Desperate to retrieve May, Luke devises a risky plan. He uses a stolen phone to call Vasily, the son of Russian leader Emil and the man responsible for Luke's wife's death. Pretending to be a member of their gang, Luke claims to possess the sought-after number. Vasily, believing the ruse, arranges a meeting at a casino to retrieve the purportedly valuable information. In another part of the city, the corrupt police captain is summoned to the mayor's office to address the series of shootings. Unveiling a shocking revelation, it becomes clear that the mayor and his boyfriend Alex are just as corrupt as the others. The mayor discloses Luke's clandestine past, he was a CIA agent loaned to the police force post 9-11. During his time in the force, Luke and his former partner Alex orchestrated the assassination of numerous crime bosses in an attempt to restore order. However, Luke exposed the corrupt practices of the captain and his team, leading to his departure. Alex, on the other hand, remained in the force and manipulated the mayor to achieve his current status. The intricate layers of deception and corruption add complexity to the unfolding narrative. The captain belatedly realizes that the man he underestimated as a loser is, in fact, his most formidable adversary. Presently, Luke's former partner Alex, now the corrupt boyfriend of the mayor, emerges as a key player in the city's web of corruption. As news circulates about May and Luke being together, the mayor exhibits signs of nervousness, hinting at potential knowledge regarding the contents and combination of the safe. May, back in the hands of Chinese mafia leader Han, skillfully deceives him by claiming she pretended not to understand English and didn't reveal the safe combination to anyone. Chang contacts Alex, informing him of May's capture and signaling the continuation of their meeting. A shocking revelation unfolds, the people the Chinese mafia sought to do business with are none other than the corrupt mayor and Alex. 
Both parties are engaged in trading the mysterious contents of their respective safes. Meanwhile, Luke arrives at the casino, ambushing Vasily's henchmen and taking him hostage. Intent on using Vasily as leverage, Luke calls Russian leader Emil, demanding information about the contents of the safe in exchange for his son's life. Emil discloses that the safe held by the Chinese gangsters contains $30 million, while the contents of the mayor's safe are valued at the same staggering amount, adding an intriguing layer to the unfolding saga of deceit, betrayal, and high-stakes negotiations. As the intricate plan to trade May unfolds, the Russians disrupt the proceedings, but now that the Chinese have regained control of May, the scheme is revived. Chang meets with Alex to exchange the crucial codes, setting the stage for a high-stakes trade. Realizing that time is of the essence, Luke is determined to retrieve the $30 million from the Chinese mafia before the trade occurs. Aware of the formidable security surrounding the safe in Chinatown, Luke seeks assistance from his former cop colleagues, who reluctantly agree, motivated by the promise of financial gain. The collaboration leads to a chaotic shootout as the group navigates through the dangerous terrain, resulting in casualties among gangsters and cops alike. Upon reaching the secure locker, Luke shockingly betrays his fellow officers, eliminating them except for the captain, whom he takes hostage alongside Vasily. Seizing the money from the safe, Luke makes his way to the mayor's office. During his journey, Luke contacts Alex, leveraging the money he possesses to extract crucial information about the contents of the second safe. Forced to comply, Alex discloses that the second safe belongs to the mayor and holds a disk containing data on every crime syndicate in New York. The layers of deception and betrayal deepen as Luke proceeds with his mission, armed with newfound knowledge that adds a heightened sense of urgency to the unfolding events. The mayor's devious plan involves selling the valuable data disk to the Chinese, pocketing the $30 million, and leaving the gangs to deal with the repercussions. However, with the money already stolen, Alex attempts to salvage the situation by returning to meet Luke. Ordered by Luke to bring May along, Alex eliminates Chang and his henchmen, driving to the rendezvous with the crucial asset. Breaking into the mayor's office, Luke confronts him for the contents of the second safe. Reluctantly, the mayor hands over a disk containing data on every crime syndicate in New York. After rendering the mayor unconscious, Luke fulfills his promise to meet Alex. Armed with both the money and the valuable information, Luke emerges as a formidable player. However, Alex possesses a unique bargaining chip, May. In the climactic exchange to retrieve May for the money, Luke defies cooperation, proposing a resolution through a fight. As Alex prepares, May shoots him in the leg, providing Luke the opportunity to dispatch him effortlessly. Finally liberated, Luke and May emerge with the money and the data disk, now equipped with potent assets for their protection in this intricate and treacherous game. Prioritizing May's safety, Luke releases the captain, compensating him with $50,000 for his involvement. He also grants Vasily freedom to avoid retaliation from the Russians. Concerned about the vengeful Chinese mafia leader Han, who had both his money and May stolen, Luke sends him the remaining funds to dissuade any further pursuit of May. In a strategic move, Luke disperses several copies of the data disk throughout the city, establishing a safeguard against potential threats. The disk serves as a potential tool for blackmailing influential individuals if their safety is jeopardized. In the final scene, May and Luke embark on a journey to Seattle, seeking a fresh start and leaving behind the complexities and dangers of their tumultuous past. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.